Alright guys, so now I'm going to show you how those two changes are done. Yeah, they're fairly simple, fairly easy, and it was a request uh, by someone asking uh, what are a couple easy changes or what are some changes. And let's start with the first one that you saw, which was the impulse change. The impulse change is pretty easy. It starts off with a double left. Now the card you will be changing the card to will be the one right in back of the top card so in this case the four spades will be turning into the two of diamonds you're gonna catch the double and put it near the center of the deck now as you're transporting the cards to the center you want to make sure you don't flash because it will be very easy to flash just like that now when holding these cards in the deck you want to have a pretty firm grip uh, that way the cards don't move or separate like so. So I have a pretty firm grip. Uh, how you do this is just use your thumb and your index finger to apply a little bit of pressure. Now, putting the cards inside here, what you're going to do is have your three fingers all the way down at the end of the pack. Uh, and when you push the card in, the card will pop out just a little bit. You want it to pop out just like that barely out but that is exactly how you want it also the card should be about halfway at the card you'll notice there's still about half a card right here and it's covering about half a card right there it's exactly what you want third the card should be at about a 50 60 degree angle as you can see here uh, here's the deck if you make the angle it's about a 60 degree All right. I hope you understand what I mean by that. Okay, you're not going to have it like this. You're not going to have it like that. You want it about a 60. Of course, you don't want it perfectly uh, like that, or else you can't even do the change. You do want about uh, some space right here. Now, from here, you're going to pop out the first card. What I mean by that is just pull out this first card, which is the 4. You're just going to pull it out, Okay, and you'll notice on the back, it is slightly higher than the card in the back which is a two now from here you can reposition your hand make sure you're just holding the deck uh, firmly with your other hand as you move and you're gonna take your index finger here and pull in this corner and when you pull in the corner uh, obviously you won't catch the other one because it is out jogged when you push it in it leaves the other card sticking out the two of diamonds and that's the change let me go over that one more time so you start off once again getting your double and remember the card in the back will be the card you're changing to now you can make that the spectators card whatever you want to do it's a great change you then put it in about the center apply a good amount of pressure uh, let the small corner come out uh, you're gonna want it about halfway at the deck You'll notice uh, a good about 70, 60 degree angle. Pop out that f uh, first card. Now, here is probably the biggest spot where you can flash because it is very, pretty difficult to just pull it out without flashing. All right. And then after this, uh, I like to reposition my hand just a little bit so I have a better position. You're going to take your index finger and pull down on a diagonal on the card. You're not going to pull straight down. You're going to pull out and down. Out and down. And when you do that, it'll leave the other card, which was in back of it, sticking out. And you have your change. That's how you do the impulse change. Now let's get into the Edna's change. Uh, it's actually, this one is, I believe, more simple and easier than that, uh, the impulse change. From here, you can start with uh, the deck face up, so you see the faces of the deck. Once again, this uh, color change will take the top card and switch it with the one right below it, so in this case, the ace of clubs. What I like to do right before I start this is just wet my middle finger and my palm right here, so I'll do that now from here you're gonna push forward this first card the queen or er, queen no that's not a queen the seven of hearts 
just so you can see the ace all the way down to about the club as you can see you can see the whole thing you don't want to go any further you don't want to have it like that that's way too much and having it like that where you can not even see it obviously is not enough that itself is very small you might be able to get away with that but you really want to uh, just put it about there so from here what you're going to want to do is take your palm and you're going to pull back on that ace you'll notice my palm is just pulling back that ace until it falls out notice I didn't catch it and it just kind of fell out let me show you that one more time so your palm is reaching over pulling back that ace until it pops out you'll notice right now it's actually in my palm it's exactly where you want it uh, once you get it in the palm you're gonna take your pointer finger push that seven back in so the deck is nice and square and take your hand and just pull it back over so that the ace is square with the deck now a, a reminder if you do have small hands uh, you have a better chance of flashing uh, if you take a look at my hand real quick you'll notice it's about the size of two playing cards. I have pretty big hands. Those of you that have small palms will have trouble not flashing at this uh, color change. Once again, let me go over. I like having, uh, especially wetting my palm right here, because you will be pulling out that second card about with this palm part right here. So, what you're doing is you're pushing that first card having a significant space right here using your palm to push that back until you hear it or see it feel it uh, pop out okay when you feel it pop out you push back in the seven and glide your hand back over now all in one motion it should be pretty smooth okay as you get better at it I myself have not mastered it completely and I have some work to do myself so those are two changes. I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, if you have any questions about uh, placement of the hands or anything like that, feel free to leave it in the comment section below. Thumbs up, comment. That's it. See you later, guys.